the top priority. My focus still remains on vaccinating the adults and the 47 million mm -hmm. other Americans who are eligible to be vaccinated. Because you know, I don't know what's more perturbing this morning. It's not quite 5 a.m. I'm listening to this mutt, Dr. Janet Nishaywat. I got to tell you, if this person's a doctor, I'm Santa Claus. I can't imagine a dumber person in the history of the world. They just got done discussing this new variant in South Africa and how none of the vaccines are going to prevent you from dying from it. This variant is more aggressive than the Delta even. It's going to spread quicker, and it seems like we have no ammunition against it. And this moron is saying to go get vaccinated. I mean, then the guy says, children unvaccinated, unvaccinated have a 3% higher rate of infection than non-vaccinated kids. On a percentage of sickness that's down below like, like a half a percent. And you know what the mutt says? Well, we got to get vaccinated. So they're asking kids to eat their lunch out in the cold in New York City. Kids are going to be dying of pneumonia. Okay. Hey, do you think Pelosi and Joe Biden are going to stop air traffic from South Africa? Or are they going to worry about racism? Okay. Or maybe, maybe they'll go get some, some South African food like they did with the Chinese when Pelosi, that blathering idiot, said, oh, I'm going to Chinatown. Trump's a racist. Trump's a racist, huh? The only goddamn cogent thing anybody did in standing up to this COVID epidemic was Trump denying travel from certain countries. He was the only guy. You cannot vaccinate your way after a spread pandemic or epidemic. It's too late. That's like saying, yeah, the cow's in the hamburger, but I'm building a hell of a new barn door in a corral while you're chewing on the cow in a hamburger. And this kind of goddamn stupidity to have someone like this vacuous, vapid broad, who's a doctor, I'd love to see her transcript. I'd love to know how the name of God she got into medical school because, man, did she put the D on dumb. They have lawyer pundits like, like Megyn Kelly was a prosecutor. And one day on Fox News, they're waiting for the president to come into a room. Oh, we got to go. They're playing pomp and circumstance. Not hail to the chief. Pomp. Now, now, I know that sounds trivial. But these people make $25 million a year to spread their infective stupidity. How did they get these jobs? How did they get into medical and law school? It scares the living shit out of me. If you don't have the common sense to understand fundamental logic of language, I got to tell you, you might as well be listening to LeBron James. I've had it. Y'all better buckle down. This is scary. because. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. And Dems that ain't sick are really effing dumb. God help us all.